And a day after firing two short-range missiles, North Korea has confirmed that the ones it launched were new tactical guided missiles. However, the regime's state media say Kim Jong-un was not there in person to watch. Our Kim Dami has the details. Confirming its first launch of ballistic missiles for about a year, North Korea said Friday that it test-fired new tactical guided missiles the previous day. The regime's Sierra News Agency reported that the North's Academy of Defense Science conducted the launch of two missiles that accurately hit the target set in the sea some 600 kilometers off the east coast. This is a further than SARS Joint Chief of Staff's analysis of 450 kilometers. Without specifying the projectile type, the North called it a weapon system with an upgraded warhead weight of 2.5 tons. Unusually, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un did not oversee the test. Instead, the vice chairman of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party, Lee byung chul watched over Thursday's launches. It was widely expected that Kim Jong-un would preside over the testing. Instead, he attended a ceremony to break ground for building homes for his people. It's a distribution of work, and he toned down the provocation by not overseeing the tests. With the Biden administration due to unveil its North Korea policy in the coming weeks, these latest launches also came just four days after the regime fired two cruise missiles into the West Sea. Thursday's provocation also marks the North's first launch of ballistic missiles since President Biden took office. Kim Dami, Arirang News.